Hey, what is up guys? Daily Science here in this video. I'm back with another cool science experiment. Now this is a pretty simple and straightforward science experiment. You won't be needing too many things. All you'll be needing for this video are steel wool, a nine volt battery, and some sort of steel cable that can resist heat. So before we get into this video, I would like to say that you have to use this very fine steel wool. You cannot grab the ones from Dollarama because those will not work. You should be able to find that at any home store, even Walmart maybe. Uh, but if you're having trouble finding it, I can leave a link in the description down below on where you can grab it from online. In terms of why we'll be using the 9 volt battery, it's mostly because the positive and the negative terminals are on the same side of the battery. However, again, this shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, wherever you find batteries, you should be able to find 9-volt batteries as well. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys a quick demonstration of exactly how this works. We'll pretty much just be touching the 9-volt battery to the steel wool. And ultimately, as soon as you touch the uh, steel wool with the 9-volt battery, it pretty much just ignites. Um, it is something to keep in mind that it is very, very, very flammable. As you can see, I wasn't really prepared for exactly how hot and how quick it'll react. I ended up having to run it underwater and then I also realized that the other one caught on fire as well so I had to quickly submerge those underwater. So this is a disaster that is just waiting to happen so you gotta be really really careful. Now comes the part with the steel cable. We will be pretty much just taking the steel cable and wrapping the steel wool around it. Uh, just try to keep it tight on there. Just do one little knot. It should be more than good enough. And we'll be pretty much swinging it around in circles while it's ignited. So you got to make sure it doesn't budge that much and you need a steel cable that can resist the heat. Otherwise, it will just melt and fly and you won't be able to do it. So we're going to carry this outside and continue from there to show you guys exactly how this will work and how it looks when it does work. I managed to find a nice and open spot uh, somewhere there's not too many people around and there is no chance for fire to catch anywhere. It also happened to rain today so that was an added bonus. Uh, so ultimately what you'll be doing is just getting that tied steel wool, touching the 9 volt battery and just swinging it in circles. Um, this was my first attempt so I was kind of getting used to how to swing it. It did hit me in the head a couple times and it did go flying and it was kind of hard so um, ultimately I did get the hang of it so the next couple tries did work out to be better. Now once your steel wool runs out, it'll probably be something like this. It is still very very hot as you guys can see, so be very very careful. So I went ahead and tried it at night as well just to show you guys exactly how it looks and it looks a lot better at night than it does during the day. Alternatively, you can use the 9 volt battery in the steel wool to start a fire. You can just use it in kindling to get the kindling going and then just drop it into a fire that you set up to get the fire going. Now, I don't know the chances of you getting stuck in the wilderness with steel wool and 9 volt battery at your disposal, but if you do happen to have those two and you want to start a fire, you now know that you can do it. So, I guess there's that. So that's about it for the science experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are having trouble with finding anything that I use in this video, I can leave a link in the description down below on where you can grab it. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something new, found something interesting. At least it was entertaining at the least. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.